First ministry to my right, to my right, to the right, and this very spot where the Foreign Affairs Ministry stands, supposed to be International Student Hostel, acquired by Dr. Kwame Nkrumah to bring in international students for the University of Ghana. But this land was sold by the previous regime when they took over in 2000 but thankfully Professor Mills the late president decided to revert this land to the government and fortunately so they decided to build the foreign affairs ministry the foreign affairs ministry and the defense ministry is one of the few ministries outside the ministries enclave so the ministry of defense in this area and the ministry of foreign affairs here are the only major ministries that are outside the ministries enclave so we are on the liberation road getting into the cantonment area cantonment simply means cluster of barracks the ghana Armed forces the ghana police service the immigration uh, the fire service all have their headquarters in this area now this is the golden tulip to my right and this used to be a state hotel known as a continental hotel but now sold to the ghana arab lydian holden company you said arab in there right yes oh, ghana i thought i was hearing things arab Chinese. holden no ghana libya arab holden company they own the hotel now this part of accra is called 37 even though it falls within the cantonment area it's called 37. 37 derived its name from the 37 military hospital uh, built during the world war ii when Ghanaian soldiers were drafted into the colonial west african force to fight in burma so they built these hospitals in some of these countries for emergency or to, for the treatment of the soldiers. Now it is open to the general public where other people come and have their treatment. It is also a national emergency hospital because the doctors and the nurses here are not, don't go on strike. <laughs> yeah, because it's a military facility. So they don't go on strike like the other public hospitals so this is one of the busiest parts of Accra when you tell any commercial driver within the city of Accra they are coming to 37 they will bring you here and in this area also you will get trotters to every part of the city or outside the city the mahogany trees coming up is a house for fruit bats. There are thousands of fruit bats on this mahogany trees. When it's about 5 o'clock p.m., you will see them flying all over going to. There is, uh, there is a historical background why the bats inhabit these trees. It is said that one chief came, he was sick and he came to the hospital outside Accra to have treatment, but unfortunately he passed on. And when he passed on, the bats are still thinking they are, <laughs> he is still in there, they are waiting for him to come out so that they go. But so when they are sick, they always come back. They are sad, they always come back. They are sad, they always come back. They are still waiting that the chief will come and then they will go home. Mm -hmm. So they are still waiting mm -hmm. and that's why they are. Now, this area, we are getting to a careful intersection. Originally, it's named or dedicated to the Ghanaian farmers. A careful simply means farming yeah you careful the plural form of farmers at the section but 
renamed because of the statue in the middle of the roundabout. Now, within the city of Accra, all the commercial drivers understand three basic signs without you communicating or talking to them. Because in Ghana or in Accra, all the taxis are allowed to pick, including the driver, five. Sometimes it can be six, sometimes it can be seven, depending on the area. Sometimes it can be eight. Sometimes it can be 10, depending on the area. Now, as he's allowed to pick five, when a passenger sits in and he starts moving, another person flag him, you stop and pick him. Another person until he gets the five passengers. Now, if you don't want any other person to join the taxi, you do this. When you do this, without you talking, the driver understands that you want a private taxi or you want what we call drop it. You do this. Now, there are two major areas in Accra. Also, that is very busy. That is Kwame Nkrumah Circle. So when you are going to that area, without you saying anything, just turn your hand this way in a circle form, every commercial driver within the city of Accra understands that you are going to Kwame Nkrumah Circle. Now, when you are going to downtown Accra, like I said before, Accra, all this area is Accra, but we call each area by their suburb names. And therefore, you do this, you point your finger to the top, this way, all the commercial drivers within the city of Accra understand you are going to downtown Accra. Now, we are into getting to the military zone of Accra, this is Bemakram, and that's the land commission. That's the land commission yeah. uh, officers. Greater Accra. And coming up is the stadium for the soldiers. Elwak Stadium. Now, most of our barracks or our military installations are named after where Ghanaian soldiers have fought. So we have Elwak, and which is not taken from an um, Ethiopia area. And renamed, we have Bema Camp, which is the headquarters of the Ghana Army. Now, this area, the drivers obey the rules of the road. <laughs> this stretch of land all the way to the headquarters of the Ghana Army. The drivers obey the rules because when you mess and you don't drive well and you get caught by the military police, you will know what <laughs> you are doing. So we are into cantonments, just like airport residential is very, very affluent and acquiring properties here, very expensive in millions of cities and Dallas. Our first stop of the city tour is Dr. W.E.B. Du Bois Center for Pan-African Culture where we are going to see the life and work of uh, Dr. Du Bois. Dr. Du Bois relocated to Ghana and died as a Ghanaian. So we're going to see his life and work. Uh, of this, he stayed in this very house where has been turned into the museum for his work. And next to it, we have the Marcus Garvey Center. And I'm told of from books that I read that they don't really agree, but in Ghana, we make them agree. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So behind his uh, center. We have Marcus Gavi Guest Center or Guest House, which also houses DAF. That's the 
the Aspiring African Forum right. also uh, is there. I think there's a program going on here this morning. Yes, in the city. Oh, okay. oh, there's a vision going on. And that is the famous American yeah, we'll embassy. Coming, yeah, slash, yeah. Slash, yeah. The new one. Yeah. Slash, slash headquarters, uh -huh. slash military base, slash no, many things. Uh -huh. Slash everything. Uh -huh. yeah. It's like a complete headquarters, Get big fortress. To show you show your power internationally. When you see that when you see it, man, you like these people are serious, man, about uh -huh. uh, maintaining their dominance over the world. Yes, sir. Right about that. And soon you'll see ships out there in the water. So you're welcome to the Du Bois Center for Pan African. This family, the journey starts. Let's get yeah. you. Watch this yes, family, and we're going to give everybody a little bit more. Yes, family, we have arrived and we are going to take you on a few different journeys in this compound. 